This is video number six in a series of videos about the greenhouse I built incorporating a shipping container and geothermal systems like a climate battery and an earth tube. If you haven't watched the other videos before this, you might want to go back and review. That way what we're talking about today will make more sense. Winter was tough and cold, but I worked as much as I could outside on the blocks and gradually those got done. But in between, I was able to backfill around the ends and on the back. As it got warmer, I was able to finish the blocks and build up the landscaping around the edges. I was also able to do some painting. You can see the knee wall behind me. That's where the automatic vents are gonna go. So it's gonna be exposed to extreme temperatures and a lot of humidity, a lot of moisture, and possibly some wind. So I wanna use some really high quality primer and paint. That's time to make the trusses. We're gonna use two by two tubing eighth inch and uh, we had to make some brackets to put on the trussie so uh, we could put a brace through the middle you'll see that later and i made this jig so we can take the bent bottoms and attach them to the 18 foot six long straight ones then we're going to put some uh, flat bar on them that have holes drilled in them so we can put purlins or cable anything we want to do in case we want to do any kind of vertical growing like with tomatoes. really important to prep the metal before you paint it or the paint just won't stick and this metal needs to be cleaned up so I'm going to use some of this Zep cleaner. It's really really good stuff. You're supposed to leave it for a minute before you take it off so I'm, what I'm going to do is spray it and then I'll use a, a sandpaper block to, to work it off and then wipe it off with a, the rags or some paper towels. Paper towels are, are, are probably the wisest thing to do because uh, you use so many of them. This is actually the second time I've went over this. It's not really dirty, but it still has some of it. It's quite a bit. But for even the second time, that's quite a bit. Since this is going in a greenhouse, I'm going to use uh, some high performance gloss white. Be real reflective. Hold up under the moisture and the mildew. And uh, the primer is a rusty metal primer. And uh, this should help. There's a little bit of rust still on here, even though I cleaned it three times. And it works really well.
That brings us to the end of this video number six. And in the next video, we'll talk about how I opened up the shipping container. And if we get time, we'll talk a little bit about some of the landscaping. So the best way to stay updated is subscribe. And we appreciate you sharing, making comments, hitting the like button, and be sure to send me your questions and I'll do my best to answer those. So until next time, be good.